In Excel 2016, you can insert miniature charts that track the overall trend of a data series. These are called spark lines, and they can help your reader understand the general progression of your data series. So to get started inserting trend lines, first go up to the Insert tab. Then after the chart section, you'll see spark lines. And from here, you can choose the type of spark line that you'd like to use. So for example, you can use a line type, a column type, or one that shows both positive and negative values. So for the first one here, I'm going to use the line option. Now you need to select your data range that the chart or spark line in this case will really be based on. So here I'll start with my import um, values starting with 2001 all the way over to 2005. Then I'll click on that button to return. And then you need to select where you want the spark line to be placed. So here I'll select J4 and I'll return and select OK. Now you can see that overall trend and you can adjust the overall style or color of the line and even whether or not you include some axes. Then I'll go over and insert another one. So I'll return to the insert tab and this time I'll select a column type and I'll select my data range. And this time I'll place this one in cell J6 and I'll return and select OK. And you can see how that differs. So there are different ways to represent your data. Lastly, for this one here, I have a negative value. So I'll go back up to insert and this time I'll choose the win loss option and I'll select the full data range, return and then choose cell J8 to display that spark line. You can play around with the colors and change the spark line color. So that one's green. And then for this one, I'll use orange. Now, if any of the values change, like here, if um, this value was not calculated correctly and it was really negative 40, you can see how that's reflected right away in the actual spark line, like with any other chart. And then you can adjust the design to better reflect um, the negative values by changing the type with a simple click. You can also choose if you'd like to emphasize high and low points and the color will distinguish which one is high and which one is low. Same thing can be done with all negative points. So here, for example, you can see that already with the win-loss chart type, negative points are selected as shown and in a different color. If you need to remove the spark line, you'll need to select the spark line and then under the design tab under group, go to clear and then select clear selected spark lines. And so now you know how to insert trend lines in Excel 2016.